get your fucking ass up and work. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new oh, <laughs> This can be a young man's game Signed up for the Hall of Shame I wish I knew Happy Friday! But if you don't know me, my name is Victoria. You can call me Vic, and this is my first ever YouTube video. So for my first video, I thought I would do just a kind of follow along kind of video through my weekend. Um, tonight, me and my boyfriend Aaron are going to be going to a disco cabaret performance, um, and I'm kind of excited for it. I actually used to work for the company that is producing it. It's like a circus pole dancing company, so I'm super excited to see what they have. They have multiple performances every year, but usually it's just once a year that they have like the adult only performance, and that's what this is. So I'm super excited to see what all they have going on. I'm pretty sure they might have called roller pole but it's essentially a mixture of pole dancing and roller skating and I've heard about it. I've seen pictures but I've never seen it in person so I'm super excited to see that. But right now it is Friday morning so before I can get into all of that excitement I do have to finish work and complete a workout. I'm actually really dreading the workout. It's not even a bad workout necessarily, but I think anytime I have something else planned, but I have to work out before, I just kind of dread it. But I'm trying to keep with like, not necessarily a new year's resolution, but I've just started exercising consistently for the first time ever. <laughs> so I really don't wanna break my streak or kind of put myself in a slump. So I am going to do it today. The show starts at eight tonight, but one wasn't reserved seating so we'll probably have to get there as soon as the doors open and make sure that we get good seats but at seven and I get off work at 5 30 so that leaves me very little time to do my workout it's only like a 20 to 30 minute workout we'll have to shower and get ready afterwards pretty quickly but enough chatting about it get to work and get the weekend started <laughs>
it is the next day. It's Saturday. We are on our way to brunch in downtown Little Rock. We're meeting up with one of our friends. Um, normally we wouldn't drive into the city for brunch, but we're going to a Lego expo afterwards, which is also downtown. I am absolutely starving, so I'm ready to go. The name of the place is, is it the Root Cafe? Yeah, the Root Cafe. It's the Root Cafe. Um, I've been there once before, and I remember them having really good burgers, so let's go. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to be part the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the Hall of Shame I wish I knew So we went to Barnes & Noble after we went to Costco and Trader Joe's but 
I completely <laughs> forgot to film once I got there. I think Barnes and Noble and any kind of bookstore really just kind of has that effect on me because the second I got there, I forgot about filming and just <laughs> zoned in to all of the books. But I will show you what I got. So the first book I got is Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong. Oh, oh my gosh, I just realized like the edges of it are like, they're not gilded because I think gilded is when it's metal, but they're like colored. That is so pretty. Also, I feel like the plot of this book is just something I would be super interested in. It takes place in Shanghai in 1931, and it essentially follows this woman who, she almost dies, but she gets saved by like this strange experiment. But even though the experiment saves her life, it changes her where she can no longer sleep and she is no longer aging and the experiment allowed her to heal from any wound. So essentially, she can't die. She's immortal at this point. She maybe was a traitor to her country before the incident where she gained immortality and she wants to make it up to her country so she starts working as an assassin. And that is just everything that I love. So I'm super excited for this book. The next book I got was How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix. So I am a Grady Hendrix lover. I have read so many of his other books. Grady Hendrix tends to be like a horror writer, but not serious like Stephen King vibe, but more fun. It's not extremely scary. And I believe this is his most recent one he just came out with. So I definitely think this might be some people love it, some people hate it. But since I have loved all the previous Grady Hendrix books that I've read, I feel like I'll be more on the side of loving it. This book is about a brother and sister whose parents die and they have to go back to their childhood home or the home that the parents live in and get it ready to sell. But the house ends up being haunted. I mean, the title kind of gives it away. I'm really excited. I think there's gonna be like a lot of family drama, possibly visiting family trauma as well. So I'm super excited to read this. Good morning. So yes, I did fall asleep in my makeup. Um, we were just so tired yesterday. We actually ended up sleeping until 11 a.m. this morning, which is a lot later than usual for us, even on the weekends. We had a lot of fun this past weekend, so it was definitely worth it. But it is Sunday morning right now. It's actually past noon, but it feels like the morning since we got up so late. Our apartment is so messy right now. So I'm probably just gonna spend the day cleaning it up and trying to get things ready for the start of the week. I'm probably going to end the vlog here just because all I'm gonna do today is clean and rest and edit this video. So I hope you guys enjoy tagging along with us for this weekend. If you did, please like this video and if you wanna see more, then subscribe to my channel. It was really fun getting to make this video, so I'm excited to get to make more in the future. I hope you guys have a great week, but don't forget to say your affirmations, brush your teeth, and treat yourself with kindness. Bye!